Hey everyone, this is EPR teacher and welcome to another episode of Eventica. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, explore this unexplored territory uh, as in this part of the map, yeah, where the uh, ruins of Arthur is at. Yeah, I'm going to explore this, uh, this unexplored territory for a bit. Before we move on to... Let me try to recall, where are we supposed to go to next? Uh, the, the one, uh, yeah, I actually can't remember where I'm not where I'm supposed to go to next. I think we're supposed to. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go to the water treatment plant, the the water purification plant, right? Yeah, which is um, which is somewhere. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's somewhere around here, this area here, as you can see on my mouse. Yeah, so yeah, that's where we're supposed to go to the water purification plant. That is the next part of the main quest. But first. I want, to, I, I, I want to explore this unexplored territory, so I'm just going to uh, explore around here and if there's anything interesting, anything noteworthy, I will show it to you guys, so I will see you a bit. Okay, so we start off with a uh, treasure chest here, let's see what this one, oops. Uh, let me just kill this quickly. Oh, oh I forgot to heal though, uh, but not like there's any towns here. It's okay, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, use this one. Oh, not dead yet. Okay. Right. I'm just waiting for Ramius to max and then I can level up. Hey, treasure. Oh, <laughs> what's this old computer? <laughs> this is this is definitely the the old Apple computer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was pricey on release, but 30 years later, you could maybe put put a premium on it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see what this treasure is. Oh, okay, more gym clothes, alright. Oh shit! Oh, I just saw another mega monster right in the the pit of the yeah of the this desert. But first, let's kill this one. We have a new enemy here called Flying Sponge Cake. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe kill this one first. Oh, what? Dodge. Um, okay, let's see, uh, shuriken? Okay, it's not that painful. Okay, uh, can you use flame arrow on you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, alright, all three. Yeah, you see, oh shit. <laughs> Another mega monster right here. This is in the in the heat of the desert. It, it looks like a scorpion if you are, if you from the looks of it. Yeah, scorpion. Okay. Uh, all right. First, let me just quickly level up. Uh, no, obviously, I'm not going to fight this uh, mega monster just yet because I'm going to. Well, I'm not exactly going to follow advice of the uh, of one of my commenters on my uh, you No, know, one of the fans watching this video. Uh, this let's play that. It's best to fight the mega monsters only when your characters are at least level 70. But well, if there are some mega monsters that I think I can fight, I will fight. But I think I will probably save the next mega monster for when I get the full party. Yeah, the full party of five members. Then I'll then I'll look into fighting the next mega monster and then see if I can take them down. If I can't, then I'll just wait a bit longer, I guess. So uh, okay, let me just let's see. I'm going to use my where's my lever? Uh, I need my pawn. Yes, I need. Oh shit! I don't have the lever summon ticket. I thought I have. <laughs> Oops. Um. Well, I guess I I'll use this one. Okay. Uh, and maybe this. Yeah. Okay. Then, then I guess I'll let. Hmm. In that case, I think I'll just teleport a bit and then go level up. And then I'll see a bit if there's anything else noteworthy here. Yeah. One of which is the Scorpion Mega Monster right here. Yeah. But I'll see a bit. Alright, here we go. There's a flirting event right here. Right, so let's check it out. Yep, you can see all the sand you, you want. <laughs> so I guess this is Ramius' next flirting scene. I mean, flirting event. Ramis turned and guessed at the desert's fastness. You could shout anything here and not worry about anyone hearing it. 
Yeah. But why would you do that though? <laughs> Yahoo! I'd rather do that in probably in the mountains rather than in, in a hot desert. Ah, yelling like that is fairly liberating. You try it, Ramius. Well, just follow me. Say, Ya Yahoo! Whatever comes to mind. Just go with the first thing you think of. Meat? <laughs> Miku? Meat, right? It's def definitely meat. It feels really good. Try it. Or maybe, uh, I love Esther. How about that? <laughs> oh, that's one hell of a shout. <laughs> that really feels like she's all pumped up. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you guys? I knew Ramius would shout something like this. <laughs> Esther, I love you. R Ramius? How do you feel? Liberating, right? Ramius realized what she had said and frantically composed herself. <laughs> this goes to show that Ramius really loves Ra uh, really loves Esther. Ramius' eyes wandered as she spoke, her words growing increasingly shaky. <laughs> Come on now, it's not Meiwaku, okay? It's not Meiwaku, okay? It's, it doesn't bother me at all, it's, and it's not stupid. Whoa! Ramius! I love you! <laughs> Shouting like that feels even better. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> Okay, same. We're gonna shout the same. Me too! Hi, <laughs> Ore mo! I adore you mo! <laughs> well, we're just uh, shouting I love you to each other. See who's the loudest. <laughs> Back up. Okay, so that's another flirting event. So let's see which one. Um, let's see which one this event is. Yeah, this is flirting event number six for Ramius. But and we're still missing a flirting event for Rich. Hmm, where's the fourth flirting event for Rich? I wonder. I'll need to find it. Okay, so if there's anything else with noteworthy, uh, noteworthy here. Yeah. Again, I'll show it here. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you at the water purification plant. Yeah. Okay. Another treasure chest. Oh, master, 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 uh, master magic goods. Okay. All right. Okay. One last treasure chest right here, and we get dream dress plus four. Nice. And I think that is all. But let me just go up. Oh, one more treasure chest. Oh nice, Persevere, survive with 1 HP. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, let's see if I can teach. Oh. Hmm. Don't think I have any um, skill. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Yeah, I don't have any skill points for Persevere, but I'll keep this in mind. Okay. And so I think, yeah, that's all. Yeah, that is all, really. Yep. Okay, that's all for this part of the unexplored region, so that's it then. Okay, so that being said, that means I'll see you. Oh, I'll see you at the water purification plant where we're gonna continue with the main quest. So I'll see you there. All right, so we're now outside the water purification plant, and I just level up a few characters. So now you see there's some changes. I think I just level reach, and I just level up your uh, Grigra as well. So okay. We are now all ready to head into the purification plant, so let's go. Water purification plant, this is going to be the next dungeon. This is the purification plant? It's bigger than I thought. What might you be doing here? This is an important facility belonging to the Republic of Lancelot. No visiting allowed. 
Well, we're not visiting, we're infiltrating it. <laughs> Civilians aren't permitted to enter. Just authorized personnel or mercenaries like us who are hired through the guild. Oh, I, I'm sorry. You were a little curious about something. Um, I heard President Law Boss was visiting this plant. Do you know anything about that? The President wouldn't come here without any prior notice. This is an important public facility, I'll have you know. Please don't make baseless claims like that. Uh, okay. But as, as I can see, there's nothing sketchy going on here. Well, un unless we go deeper. Yeah, they have even got guards, which is actually even sketchier. <laughs> oh, and I see a new title here, Purification Plan of Betrayer. That everything looks normal may itself be suspicious. I have no basis for saying that though. At least call your hunch or something. Are you not tourists? Do anything too shady and we have to call the knights. Oh, but we are the knights. <laughs> what? I, I'm sorry. Uh oh. We grass master might be trying to get us in a fight with Lancelot's knights. Uh, let's leave for now and see if anything happens. Okay. So, Grigra, got any solution? Huh? What's this girl doing? While everyone else tried to leave, Grigra approached the guards and started to stare them in the face. Oh? <coughs> what is it, Grigra? Hey, why do you smell like President Boss? Oh? <laughs> why do they smell like President Boss? Oh yeah. I mean, Grigra has great animal instincts, right? Or rather, cat instincts, so she can smell people. What smell are you talking about? He's self conscious about his opus and smell, so he uses really strong masks. Seriously? The guards smell themselves to check. Well, obviously, the guards can't smell themselves. I mean, Grigra has, has great sense of smell, no? Cut you? You sleep that? Yeah. So that was actually a trick. <laughs> so Rigra was actually lying when she said that. <laughs> okay, nice one, Rigra. Though nice one. Master, and look at this. Oh, Rigra instantly knocked the man out and stripped the glove off one of their hands. Is it? Is it what I think it is? Sneak crest. Yeah, oh no, it's not a snake quest, but it's out an outlaw. Black ring. These aren't cards. They're outlaws. Just to say there's no regular staff at the facility. So just as the outlaw camp is uh is occupied by outlaws, even this water purification plant is run by outlaws. So I I would figure if they're even out here at the entrance. This whole place must be a hype of our loss. Makes the idea that he's ordering them to attack more believable. Yeah. Let's hurry, we need to capture the president and stop this. We need to find him. The party snuck into the water purification plant and proceeded through the dim hallway. Alright, let's do this. We're exploring this dungeon right now. Oh, there's a mini boss fight right here, I guess. So, first. Some money. Actually, there's quite a number of these mini boss fights. Let's start with this one. Huh? The fuck here, guys! Party entered what looked like a brick room and found some crude men resting there. So now, now here are the crude men. Use the president's gas or what? No. Wait. We're supposed to act like hired adventurers. Just let the front door guys do that. Hmm. This really is a hive of outlaws. No proper stuff anyway, it seems. Ah! Are you guys intruders? How dare you fuckers trick us! Yeah, if these were the real guards, burgers would get in here pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Kill this hush house! Alright, let's fight. The outlaws frantically drew their weapons and attacked the party. Oh, plus two? Okay, plus two now. Alright. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah, Alright. So for you, um let me see if I can use this. Yeah, to stun stun it stun the outlaw warrior. Uh let's see. I guess I have normal attack. Okay. Let's see, uh let's raise trust. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Let's just check some things here. That's 100, 105%. Okay. Right, next one is right here. Okay. Looks like a big room for the others. If there were no women in there, there were women here too. Grigra peeked into the room and told the others what she saw. Are these animals kidnapping girls again? Wait, doesn't look like it. <laughs> I taste the pest that gave us. And all we've got to do is run around and scare people in the cities. That this next job sounds serious. It wants us to actually attack towns, apparently. But we're gonna stop that. Oh, what's this? Spoiled chick? <laughs> um, don't tell me you have to fight the spoiled chick. Well, hey, long as you're out, steal some pricey jewelry for me. If you do, I'll get you off all night. No prop, I can turn it yet, Sam. Better watch it. She killed her own husband for cash. Shut it, or I won't do you anymore. Shh. Then I'll just go kidnap some other prop. <laughs> I don't mind. Outlaw, not all women are fun to fish. Oh my, what a hunk. Steal some pretty clothes for me and I'll give you some more serious pleasure. Oh, I just love it, Chame. <laughs> Shit, let's kill these people. What should we do, Esther? We kill them. <laughs> Attacking towns is unforgivable. Let's stop them before it's too late. Esther drew his sword and burst into the room where the outlaws were relaxing. What? Interest? Shh! Get behind us, women! Oh, they really ran off. Oh, the women ran off. <laughs> I thought they were going to fight us. Ramirez pointed to where the women had been. They had abandoned the men without a second. What? Outlaws will be outlaws. Yeah, I mean, they're just fighting for their survival, basically. Shit! Spread! Get! Get him! Bring it! Why, why? Why is there a handy here? What the heck? Um. Okay, let's let's um. Let's kill this one first. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Are you shuriken on this guy? Oh, didn't work. Okay, um, let's see, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, nice, double attack. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this. Um, oh, not dead yet. Nope. Okay. Okay, I guess why. If you notice, you see Esther always getting plus 13 experience. I guess this is because of the experience 105%, right? Yeah. I hope. Yeah, the next drone beetle I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna give to one of my other waifus. I'm gonna spread them all out. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go to the next part, this event here. Esther, don't move! Huh? Esther was walking down the hall when Grigora's unexpected shout shocked him into stopping mid-step. Are we like going down into a special part of this water purification plant? That's a trap! How do you say that it's so good with the leg? Rigura picked up a piece of the crumbled wall and carefully had Esther step away while she put it down in his foot's face. Oh! There we go! Where the trap should the trigger? So she's also a great trap disarmer. Uh, someone who can disarm traps. So we do know Rigura is definitely a great ally. Phew! By the way, what kind of trap would we have been? It's connected to the city, so something would have fallen on you. Oh, that would be bad. I wonder what it would have been. You would have been crushed. Want to test it? No, no, no. <laughs> no, don't. I'll pass. Thanks, you saved me. Grigra was the perfect height for Esther to pat on the head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't imagine a facility like this could have that many traps set up, but you wouldn't have to proceed with caution. Okay, the party nodded at Rami's suggestion and resumed its search of the plant. Okay, so I think I have a feeling that once we complete this water purification plant dungeon, then it will be the end of end of chapter two. I think. Yeah, but we'll see how. Let's continue from here. Okay, 
of another event. Wow! I think this is more like yawning, right? Man, what's the point of guarding this boring place? Ro ro ro? Huh? A ball rolled up to the outlaw watching the hallway. Uh, who's playing with a ball? You <laughs> playing catch in the brick room or what? Let's say! Better not bring any glass or they piss someone off! Yeah! Okay, so it's Grigora who threw the ball. <laughs> Oh, when the outlaw bent over to pick up the ball, Grigora silently snuck up and knocked him unconscious. Where did you get the ball from, though? <laughs> Grigora, is it is it the you know the yarn the yarn ball that cats always like to play with? <laughs> uh, you, you brought something like that along, Grigora. That was quite a display. Rangers never fail to impress. Hey hey hey! Look at this chatty. This guy is up. Grigra was humble in the face of the face, but couldn't help but blush and smile. Did you see that? She hit him in the neck and knocked him out. Y yeah, that was really deadly, right? Let's see, I wanna do that. Maybe if I chain hard enough? Uh, please don't tell me you're gonna use it on me, okay? <laughs> please don't tell me you're gonna use it on Esther. A as long as you don't chain on me, yeah, please don't. But he hit the unconscious outlaw behind something and resumed the search. Right. We're going down and down. Downstairs. Uh, oh. Okay, we're gonna encounter an enemy here. Oh. Yeah. Furios. Okay. Uh, we have to attack and attack. Let's may use this one. Okay, and we're gonna use... Fire arrow, flame arrow. Okay, so yeah. Whoa! This is the purifier. Awesome! It's running on this magic battery. This is a magic battery. Wow. Even a group of high level mages don't have as much magic power as this. Magic batteries? You don't know? Our magic items are powered by these boxes fitting magic power that we call magic batteries. Well, I do know that this world is run by magic. Everything, the power, the source of energy is magic. Yeah, there's no such thing as... Well, there, there is such thing as electricity, but... Electricity in this world is produced by magic. Yeah. Oh, like that energy cap talked about. Yeah. But, except that one is... The, what, the UP engine, right? <laughs> Using a monsters. Energy, the fire energy to get the to, to run the engine. Oh no, no, that was that's another source of energy, but um, uh, but yeah, yeah, that serves as an alternative to magic because Kev said that uh, using ma only magic as a source of energy is like it's not a good thing. So you know, it's it's better to you know have another an alternative source of energy, you no know, alternative sources of energy. This is apparently how they turn the sea water from Lake Winnipeg into fresh water. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I know the, the sea water they say that is salty, right? So yeah, sea water is salty. Basically, it's just extracting out the salt from the sea water and then turning it into fresh water. Something smells weird though. I'm used to the smell from living on an island of fishermen. But these reeks of rotten fish. Rotten fish? Yeah. Also, the sea water's a strange color. Hmm, yeah, yeah, they're kind of a strange color. They're not actually like blue in color. Some kind of like greenish. Really? Yeah. We don't want to swim in water like that. Huh? Huh? What's this? What? Did you find some something? By hitting the wall with the claws of a glove, she found a small hole. Oh? Maybe it's like a hidden stick. What's in there? What's this? Looks like a report on the purifier. Um, hmm. can you guys read this? Again, an investigation due to perceived abnormalities. We found that the time required to purify water has risen higher than expected. The cause is unknown. It's possible the purifier is degrading. Okay. Any abnormalities in the purifier are a threat to the Republic of Lanson. We will undertake further investigations. So yeah, this is like the some kind of a entry. Uh, report entries. The 
sea water is getting polluted. Why could that be? Hmm, could it be because of us? So, originally this water purification plant was run by a genu genuine group of people, but then Boss and his group of outlaws infiltrated this place and then, you know... What could this be? Now I'm curious. Wait, do I have anything else in there? Yep, that's an effective. Hey, if anything else, I'll tell you. I'd like to check out the purifier a little more. But we need to do something about, about the president first. Yeah, that one first. Got it, let's keep moving. The party left the, uh, the loudly operating purifier behind and proceeded deeper into the plant. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, oh, another purifier? Oh, it's another purifier. Maybe it's new. I like the last purifier, it's awfully quiet. Maybe there's some report here too. Huh? This is fake! Oh yeah, actually, actually now that I take a good look at it, yeah, it does, doesn't does look like the, the other purifier, it looks kind of fake. Even It even looks pixelated. <laughs> this is fake. What? Look, it's just a painted wooden frame. What if it... What if this is actually a hidden door though? When Esther hit the purifier, it made a hollow sound. You're right. It's totally empty. You never know from a distance. I, I actually I took a second look, yeah. It's that it's fake because it looks pixelated. <laughs> but that's another thing. Could this mean it found a way to make lighter purifiers? No way! It's not even a purifier! It's just made to look like one, yeah, Ramius. I thought we said that this is a fake one. <laughs> Why would they do that? Not sure. Hey, I found another hidden safe! Alright, so there is another hidden safe. Grigra removed the false part of the wall and took out a bundle of papers. Another report, take it. Lake Vinivere's pollution problem is becoming severe. The increased purification time is most likely a result of the polluted seawater. So it's like we have, we're getting reports in chronological order. As a countermeasure, we'll build more purifiers. We have already prepared locations to set them up thus far. Unfortunately, even a technologically gifted race like the Poppins seem to need some time to get a full grasp of the purifiers' workings. So they have been using some monsters called Poppins. Based on our estimates, it will cost half of the national budget and slots budget. But in heeding Lancelot's warning, our country has a budget saved up for just such an occasion as this. So that shouldn't pose any prob problem. However, our investigations have found that the witches of the Round Table who created the purifiers were in possession of knowledge beyond our own. Oh, okay. I see. One of the new purifiers must have been, must have been meant to go here, but they couldn't find it eventually. But what's with this fake one? Maybe it's a placeholder? Maybe the president's hiding something? Well, maybe, but we only found the note, right? I mean the report. Grigra, if you find anything else, tell us. Okay, I'll do my best. Party decided to proceed deeper into the facility. Do we get to see another purifier? Nope, it's a, it's a crossroad. The junction. Hmm. Try going. Oh, now there's, there are enemies. Earlier you, earlier, you noticed there weren't any... Yeah, there isn't this uh, random encounter. Gauge. Okay, now there is, so there are enemies here, okay? Um, what was this? Shit, why is there a pink fork here? <laughs> what? Ugh, something stinks! Hold your breath! It's a poison gas leak! Thankfully, that's not too much. We should just barely be able to handle this. Oh yeah, we got that antidote from Kev. Why don't we just use that? Oh, to get rid of this poison fork? Why not? Wait, hey, Esther! I can't imagine Kev Kev give us that just to deal with this. Let's save Kev's medicine for later. We can just hold our breath when we need where we need uh yeah. Uh we can just hold our breath when we need to. Okay then let's go. Yeah, I think we shouldn't waste that antidote on something like this. For all their criticism, they really do trust Kev. The party decided to run through the poison gas field hallway. Okay, uh but first let me go up. Okay, yeah, all these enemies we've, we've fought before, including the main lady. 
Alright, we got treasure. Cartridge. Alright. Okay, let's go north here. Oh, yeah, there is something here after all, but. Wow. I mean, for this treasure chest to be surrounded by so many of these red spikes, it means this treasure chest is very valuable, right? Okay. Um, okay. Okay, uh, yes. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Okay. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought we would have to fight one more, but nope. Okay, now we can go south. Okay, uh, oh, alright, let's pass through this. Go here, oh, another event. Oh, another purifier. This one is another fake one. Another purifier. But this one's fake too. Huh? What might this be? A pamphlet was lying there on the dusty, seemingly long untouched floor. And it looks overproduced. Wait, there's pictures of this place in here. Huh? It says the brand new third purifier is operational. Really? You must have set up these fakes just to take those pictures. I wonder how much tax money was wasted on these pamphlets. Hey, found another one. Thanks, you're good at finding this stuff. The academy trained me to be. If I couldn't find you traps, I wouldn't get to eat. So that helped me learn fast. Wow, that's really strict, though. I see. Esther gently rubbed the ground on the head, then looked over the new report. Okay, Lake Guinevere has started to generate poison. Lake Guinevere is the one that's generating poison. Rod poison. One of the most powerful naturally occurring ones. Further, we have also discovered the cause. Oh, the cause? The ocean is constantly stirred by currents, but no such current exists in the man made Lake Guinevere. All that seawater sits in one spot under the warm sun until it gradually decays. So, the source of the poison actually comes from the seawater. This poison is the result of us tampering with nature. Without more purifiers, many will likely suffer from the poison. But we haven't gotten a positive response from the government, or rather from the president. Government action is taking longer than it should. Well, blame boss. So the poison gas is seriously coming from Lake Winnie Baby. Ah, uh, I feel kinda dizzy. Wait, you okay, Rich? Uh, so that wasn't my imagination. I've actually been feeling ill. Well, we're already in the within the poison gas thingy, so... Ah! This is poison! It's probably leaking in from somewhere! Uh oh, let's hurry on ahead! Yeah, we have to quickly go forward. The party ran away from the area. Okay, uh... Oh. <gasps> we have a new enemy, the Giraffe. <laughs> Agate's back row, that's not good. Um, the first time we kill all these... Okay, um... Oh, that hurts. We have to kill this one first though. Uh, yeah. Go on, let me kill this. Okay. Let's see him. Oh. Okay, we, we got this. Okay, um. Oh, there's an event there, but. A door. It's pretty sturdy. Something's written on it. Storage room, no entry. Hey, but I want to get... There are quite a lot of good things here, and most of the poison is coming from there. Storage room? They've even got this heavy padlock on it. What could they possibly be storing? Poison stuff. <laughs> and uh, there's some healing point there. Probably this also where the boss is. Esther, I can smell a little bit of poison gas past this door. Poison gas? Hmm, maybe you should kick it down. That would be way loud. And they will find and surround us immediately. Esther, this lock's nothing I can't pick. Oh, you can pick it? Oh, really? Would you do that then? Okay. Rigra took out a needle, stuck it in the lock, and started digging it around in what appeared to be a completely random manner. But it's open. Yeah, open! <laughs> and Rigra acts like as a ranger slash ninja. Basically, she's a ninja, you know. I had heard rumors. 
I mean, just should I still have picking locks? Hmm, you could find all the hidden. <laughs> <laughs> you could find all the hidden pawn, you right? <laughs> Okay, Ramius. Why pawn? The party put their hands on the heavy door and carefully pushed it open. Okay, but before we go up there, uh, let me just see what else is here. Oh, this. What could this from be? Is it just for sawing barrels? Hmm, looks like these are new. Don't think they were bringing something in from outside or anything. There's a strange contraption here. Could this be for trans- Could be for transporting water? It smells even worse in here. Better not stay here too long. Yep, found oh, another hiding place. Oh, another report. In the ceiling this time? We would have missed that if not for you, Grigra. Grigra's definitely been a great help. Yeah. Hey hey. I'm let's see. Hey. I've done what I could to prevent the poison gas from blowing into the cities, but my time is almost up. What do you mean your time is almost up? My investigation has even unraveled the history of this nation, but it was highly difficult with many of the with many of my documents disposed of. Hmm, even unraveled the history of this nation? King Arthur rejected Lancelot for tampering with nature, maybe because he foresaw this very phenomenon. But I do know, I have read a bit about King Arthur and Lancelot, and I do know that eventually, in the end, you know, Lancelot betrayed uh, King Arthur because of, yeah, yeah, because of what you call that, because yeah, he cheated on King Arthur basically by uh, having an adulterous affair with King Arthur's wife, which is who is actually Guinevere. Yeah, so okay. so this Lake Guinevere is you no, know, it's named after King Arthur's wife. Yeah. Then why did Lancelot go against King Arthur's wishes and push the idea through anyway? Well, I don't know. Because even then, this country lacked water. Rather than think about the far future, they had to choose what would make life easiest then. But there is hope. Records show that King Arthur had the witches of the Round Table develop a device that works on the poison gas. So here it puts witches of the round table instead of knights of the round table, you know. <laughs> King Arthur, what a generous man he was. Lancelot acted against King Arthur, yet the latter still devoted himself to helping his whole friend. Truly is worthy of being called a great hero. The device is... Oh, did he like... Did he like die when he tried to write this? Some, some, some ish. Damn, he must have started running out of ink at the end. I can't read this. Or maybe ran out of ink, okay? I do wonder why he said. But we're in a hurry. Can't loiter around here, or we're in here the gas. Got it. The party was curious about the odd device, but decided to move on. Well, there's one more thing here. Is this the same thing? I don't get why or how, but this device apparently stores the gas in these barrels. I saw a device like this a long time ago when barrels of fresh air were selling bizarrely well. Fresh air is one thing, but I don't know about poison gas. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's starting to leak! The party practically distanced themselves from the, from the device. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay. Let me just check one more time. Yeah, it's the same thing, alright? Okay. So, uh, Alright, let me fight this. Okay, uh, let's see here. Oh, there's one more, yeah, one more event here, but I need to pass this. Oh, okay, this isn't so bad. Uh, okay, um, let's this, okay, okay, and play. Okay, Grigra and Esther leveled up. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's check out. Oh, there's some poison gas beyond this. Beyond this, another fake purifier. No, no. Another fake. As he looked down, Esther tapped against the light wooden material painted to look like a purifier. Tens of tax dollars must have been poured into this, and all they came up with was painted boxes. It'd be funny if you weren't so sad. Esther, I found more hidden documents. Quick work as befits a ranger. Alright, let's give this a read. 
Um, egg noodles. <laughs> Oops, this one is rubbish though. <laughs> egg noodles 5 gold, wheat noodles 5 gold, Abara char sui noodles 6 gold, early bird chicken special 7 gold. Light speed delivery! We're busy during lunchtime, so order in advance! What? <laughs> this is just a delivery menu. But I couldn't find anything else suspicious. In the off chance something's found, I'm sure you want there to be something that looks innocuous. Now that you mentioned it, that one was kinda easier to find than the others. Oh well, that's a matter. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Shall we move on? Huh? We're not gonna place an order. <laughs> why would we, why would we want to place an order, Ramius? Are you hungry? <laughs> if you if you really want to eat, we can do we can eat all we like after this mission, okay? Any food brought to this poison infested place where would it taste very good? Yeah, you you will poison ourselves too. Let's do it when we get out of here. Makes sense. Naruhodo. The party put the menu back where they found it and resumed the search. Okay, um I think we can pass through here but I think we should wait, we should go here first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we should check these places. Oh, someone's dead. Someone's dead there. Ugh, stings. The party held their breath as they slowly proceeded through the poison gas filled room. Look at all these barrels. Were they planning a war party? <laughs> Ravius, what are you talking about? Esther, I smell poison le gas leaking from the barrels. Who has been storing all this poison gas? Definitely boss, right? So, do all these barrels contain poison gas? <laughs> Esther, we can't stay here too long or you'll be a zealous. Wait, just a bit longer. I see something back there, yeah, another exclamation mark there. Esther began to carefully investigate the room full of barrels. Okay, first, we get this. Anga meat bone, the tasty part's gone but the potential for still remains. Max HP plus 200. I think this is good maybe for... Hmm, I think I think we're we're good. I'll just keep that. Yeah, and I need to heal here. All right. Whoa, a corpse! Yep, someone's dead here. Esther, this place is bad. The poison is so strong that we shouldn't go in there. <laughs> but no stings. The corpse is surrounded by snack clams. I bet he was slacking off here and ended up killed by the gas. Uh, so this guy's really hungry, isn't he? Oh, there's another hidden safe over there. Oh, another one. Okay. Grigra? Before Esther could stop her, Grigra went ahead and took the documents out of the safe, then came back. Here you go. Don't go off and do dangerous things like that. Don't you know we all worry about you? You do? Obviously, of course. Hey, 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 hey. Thanks. You say thanks, not sorry. But that's okay, I'm a teensy bit resistant to poison. Oh, you are? Huh? That's possible. My teacher at the academy knew uh, lots about poison. He trained us to raise our resistance and stuff. Oh. Resistance to poison. I've heard that training was so severe that many lost their lives to it though. Brigra. When you're with us, never do anything so stupid, yeah. Huh? Okay. So what does the document Grigra put herself in danger to get say? Um, okay. This plant is dangerous. The poison has even affected me. I doubt I have much time to live. So he's been affected by the poison. I heard that they have circumvented fixing it by getting new staff who don't fear death. But they clearly couldn't be upstanding people. They may be out... Uh, excuse me, never mind that. Some of my investigation reports have disappeared. Oh, they must be disadvantageous to someone. Oh really? These are these have been pretty helpful. Or oh, some of them you mean? Oh, some they have disappeared. But I think all these reports have been pretty helpful. I've hidden a few other reports in this plant. Now I pray they are found by someone who cares. Yep, I've I found them. My vision is foggy and I can barely move. It seems my time has come. So is this guy the one who wrote all this report and is now lying here? It could be him. I think this is the guy who wrote that, that's, that we see here. This is the guy who wrote all these reports. 
This investigator guy risked his life to try and tell us this stuff. I don't know who he was, but may he rest in peace. Yeah. Psst. I wish I could have lived longer. I'm still only 145 years old. Wait, what? You're 145 years old? You live long enough! From the last time, I get the feeling he died of old age more than the poison. <laughs> yeah. I mean, usually humans' average lifespan is not that long, you know. I mean, maybe 100, 110 years. Max would be 120, but 145. Well, either way, he helped us. Let's be thankful and move on. Yeah. The party put away the report and decided to head yet deeper into the plan. Okay. Alright, let me fight this first. Okay, so now we're gonna pass this poison fork again. Another batch of poison fork. Uh, poison gas! But we have to get through here to reach boss. But, but the thing is, is boss really in here? I mean, he would have choked to death with all this poison gas, right? So, hmm, unless he has a mask or something. If we hold our breath, good, not working. Looks like the poison is building up here. If the wind outside changes direction, I think we'll be able to pass through at least. Do we just have to wait? Let's go search somewhere else in the meantime. Somewhere else? The party decided to look elsewhere until the poison went away. Somewhere else? But where else can we look? I mean, this is the only way left. Let me try again. No use, it's too dangerous! If we wait till the wind changes direction, the poison gas should thin out enough for us to move on. As the all we can do is wait for now. Let's see if we can find anything else incriminating towards boss in the meantime. Okay, um... Uh, Hmm, seems like we have no choice, so we are saying we should leave this place. Yeah, let's do that. The party frantically distanced themselves from the poison gas filled hallway. Okay then, I guess I'll just uh, explore around here and then if I find... I think we'll leave this place, but yeah, if there's anything new, I'll show it. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, oh, actually, I see it. <laughs> it's right here, so... So, yeah. Here we go, there's the boss battle, upcoming boss battle right here. So I think... Let me just use my level summons, top summon skill to level up Esther and Grigra. Okay. Alright, let's just fast forward here. Alright. Okay, so now that we're all level up, we're ready to fight the boss right here. Yes, okay. Actually, we were supposed to pass through this, the poison fog there, but we can't pass through, so we have to backtrack. And when I backtrack, yeah, <laughs> the boss, we have a boss battle right here. Right, so let's do this. Oh. <laughs> but first. <laughs> Alright. We have a treasure. Oh, computer. Alright. Alright. Let's now fight the boss. Let's go. Probably boss is here, but we'll see. Found in Chilas! Yeah, they the ones who did in our bodies! <sighs> All outlaws? The freaking president hired us! You think you can win? Well, of course we can win, you're just a bunch of outlaws. Let's beat his suits and get a bonus from him! Yeah! They just revealed their connection to boss. I don't know if they're stupid because they're, they're outlaws. Or if they are outlaws because they're stupid. <laughs> Maybe both. Esther, they're attacking! The party drew their weapons and took on the violently shouting outlaws. Alright. Oh, we have an outlaw knight. Okay, we have fought this outlaw knight before. Uh, if, did I just see something here? Humans are easy to assassinate. What? Alright, let's do this. Uh, first, I probably want to get rid of the Duda Giraffe though. The Duda Giraffe is very dangerous because it targets that row. Okay, but I can't hit the Duda Giraffe right now. Uh, let, me, let me just kill this first. Okay, um, the, uh, let's see if I can. Can I use Shrieker? No. Uh, I'll kill this one first. Oh, shit. Shit, that hurts. That seriously hurts. That really hurts. Uh, let's see. Oh no, this is bad. 
Let's see, uh... If I can use Zap. Oh shit. That... Okay, um... I'm gonna use... Probably Ally Guard here. Okay, and I'm going to attack this. Wow, that really hurts, man. Shit, 600 damage. Damn. Uh, okay, I'm going to use this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here. Two down. Good shit. Okay. Um. Going to let's see. Um. I'm gonna use this one on the outlaw knight. Okay. Um. The one more flame arrow. Okay. I'm going to first. Um. Uh, maybe attack first. Okay. okay. The outlaw knight is quite strong though. Um. See if I can use this one. Yeah. Okay. That's 2000 damage. Okay, I'm gonna use an item here. Heal Ramius. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, stun. Stun the Outlaw Knight. Okay, uh, use Flame Arrow. Okay, use this one. Hmm. Okay, use, use one more shuriken. Nope, it work. Up, oh, you're dead. Not gonna let you. All right, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, so we still have to. Can we like go back here? I don't think we can, right? Oh no, oh the smoke's gone! <laughs> oh, just by defeating that that group of people, the smoke's gone. Nice. Alright. Okay, there's an event here. Let's check it out. Hey Esther, I if I give you my theory. I would love to hear it actually. So it sounds like the Republic of Lancelot's poison gas is being naturally generated by the lake. Maybe it's not like the outlaws are spreading it around themselves, but they're probably making it worse. And the president used the funds that were saved for the plan for his own person again. And to keep anyone from finding out, he set up fake purifiers in here and tricked everyone. But he would only be able to do that as long as he's president. That would be why boss has to win the election no matter what. So yeah, so he's using the funds for his own personal gain. That's not good. So boss hired the outlaws to terrorize the public in hopes he would get them to vote for him. By proclaiming that the ruins of Arthur are the trap, he could declare a fake reconstruction project and use that to get the funds he needs for the plan. But Theo's gotten more support than he was expecting. So now he's going even further by using Outlaws to attack towns. That's really despicable though. What a fuss. The public will stand for this. Does that mean Snake Quest is not involved here? Actually, I think they are involved. I mean, they are involved because of Watchmen. No, I doubt even the president was able to hire outlaws himself. He must know someone connected to them. So it is the press. It was the plant's control room. Master said the president's in there. Really? But how did he, how did he survive all the, the poison gas then? Alright, then let's arrest him fast. The fake purifiers are undeniable proof of his crimes. Okay. Okay. In my predictions, right? Green Grass Masters, probably from Snake Grass. And it's actually someone close to you. <laughs> but if that's true, I don't see what he has to gain from giving us boss location and having us go beat him. Well, it's he's just basically Rochford just wants to throw boss away. Because he uh, he has no longer any use for boss. His boss is just a pawn by now. Sacrificial pawn. No evil doer can go unpunished. When I beat the president, everyone will know I'm an awesome knight. Um, Grigra? We can talk later. I sense a powerful opponent pass here. Oh shit. Alright, careful everyone. Powerful opponent. The party proceeded to the control room where the president was. 
Oh, for Conan? Shit. Okay, I better heal first. The thing is, we have three of this potion. Let's see, uh, let's heal. Okay, and then the, this one is going to give it to Reach and Grigora. Okay, I hope this will be enough. But let me just say this. Okay, this one is going to be the going to be a tough boss. So, all right, all right. Uh, no, I don't fight you. <laughs> Right, uh, that that better when uh, unscarped, you have no injuries, so that not much injury, so that's good. So, Alright, here we go. So this is the control room, the office. Right, let's do this. Here we go. It's boss voice. Finally, I can get, I, I no longer have to voice everyone's voices. <laughs> And the party was about to step into the room and then reached shout from boss stop them in their tracks. I wonder if we have to fight boss or some other person. We have to see. Doesn't mean you can't be trained. There, there's such a thing as trained out boss. His boss voice is actually quite deep. Boss continued to insult the frantically preparing outlaws as he activated the magic transmitter on his desk. Okay. So he's the one holding the magic transmitter, so boss is actually the the master of Grigora? So you're planning to attack Pankaj, but well, I'm not gonna let you do that. Oh wait, but clearly the magic transmitter was so the magic transmitter was originally with Rochford, but then Rochford passed the magic transmitter back uh to to, to, to boss rather. Not back to boss, but just Ask the magic transmitter to boss and then basically like gave it to him or something like that. So the <laughs> You despicable guy, I'm gonna kill you boss. Right here, right now. Hey, <laughs> It's the same thing, okay? Oh, bang! Akuda, yes! You're the evil guy here! <laughs> I think the one who, 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 who banged that thing, banged something basically, was Grigora. Hey, you don't know who this guy is? This guy is the one you, you are controlling? This is the... Formerly the Dark Knight Kitty. Well, I mean, she's still the Dark Knight Kitty, though. <laughs> Attack Pankaj? How can the president value people's lives so little? You, you think we are deaf? We, we overheard everything. Oh, you can even use your magic transmitter to record. Conversations. <laughs> uh, we can envy later, okay, Rich? <laughs> What's a beta beta stone player? <laughs> what kind of music player? This isn't the time to, yeah. Not, not the time for this now. <laughs> Oh, you'll be surprised, but I'm not gonna tell you. Yes, we don't need to answer to evil. Okay, Shit, what? Rangers? At boss call, several men appeared out of nowhere. Who are they? Where the heck did they come from? 
先ほどから殺気を隠そうともせずに潜んでいたのはこいつらだなえシェッ天井裏に隠れていたんだそんなところに隠れるのは僕と同じレンジャーくらいだよ Yeah, so they're basically fellow rangers like what boss said. But the men continued to rigidly stand, occasionally swinging back and forth as they watched the party. What? You, you, you want what? Aiden's blood? So you also have possession of Aiden's blood? Huh? The men reacted to the mention of Aiden's blood, drew their weapons, and laughed maniacally. Aiden's blood addicts? Sude ni Maki no shoujo da na. Koizra wa mo. Adan no chiga nakereba ikite ike nai karada de aro. God damn it. So da. To aru gakuen kara katta no sa. Zuibun to kakuyas de urare de. What do you mean from a certain academy? There's only one academy, okay? <laughs> God damn it, you. Now you know the truth, Grigra. Yeah, you were used by your master too. Ma, Niko no yatsu wa tsukai zirai no de. Adam no chi de lisei o kowasu shitsu wa aru ma na. Hmm, shit. Grigra, we can ask questions later. This isn't a fight we can avoid. Yeah, we have to take those rangers down first. The minus rangers roared as they attacked. Oh, wow, these are quite dangerous. Three outlaw rangers. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's see what should I start off with. Um, I think I can maybe use this. Okay. Um, will you shrieken? Yes. Wow, hurts. That, that really hurts though. Um, is this? Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use Fire Blast here. Okay. Alright, you're dead. Right, I'm going to use Ally Guard. Okay, um. Oh, she was this. Shit! But we have to kill this one first. Um, here, here, here. Can I kill him? It's this one. Yep. He's dead. Oh, shit! Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was really close. Thanks to Ramya's gut. I think that one seems like uh, instant death, but anyway. Okay, um, light arrow. Okay. Right, dead. Nice. You know, Ramya's ally guard is really, really very useful. Yeah. The defeat of his rangers left Boss pale, but he still had the composure to insult them. So are you gonna fight now? <laughs> well, yeah. So, You're being delusional or what, boss? その贅沢に使うお金はお前のものではないランスロットに暮らす人たちのものだ Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, that's why we're here to change things. Wait, are you going to assassinate boss? Yeah, basically, Rochford betrayed you. Uh, Rochford betrayed you, boss. Upon the realization that Grigra was Dark Knight Kitty, boss frantically turned on his magic transmitter. 
これは一体どういうことだ Yeah, it's not gonna answer you, Rochford. Yeah, Rochford's not gonna answer you. Yeah, he betrayed you. What? Ah,、oh, the door. What? What? We're trapped. Jeez, is this room gonna be filled with the poison gas? Oh shit! Wait. Actually, if you look at the barrels, all these barrels must be filled with poison gas, too, right? Oh shit. Shit, that's Rashford's voice, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's stated here, but.、Um, yeah, I mean, the rest should, should recognize that voice. Rigra, that this Rashford is the, the evil one. ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブリグラ。ブ
たちは騎士になってみんなを守るために学園で頑張ったんだすでにそこからが勘違いだレンジャー学園の真なる目的は別にあるそう、今のレンジャーアカデミー It's, uh, it's not a good place to be in. Yeah, they're doing it, but basically, they're training knights for their own personal games, right? Yeah, pretty much. It's also the place where only the fittest survive, right? So. You're not Gomi, okay? You're not Gomi, Green Grass, seriously, you know. Rira, he's lying. Don't trust him. Yes, trust us. Uso to a shingai dane. Sono hanashi ga jijitsu da kara koso. Ruin ni atsuryoku o kakerare te. Gakuen wa omote butai kara kiezaru o enaku natta no da. Otomo sama. Sono kekka, ooku no mono ga stene de urare ta no da. Omae no kyogu wa yoko ni iru rishu no chichiouya no se da to itte mo i. Uh, yeah, like seriously, you're pushing the blame to which father now? No, no. Omae tachi ni sunzai igi wa nai. Sekai ni hitsuyo to sareru koto no nai mono tachi. Ushi, we need you, okay? Listen to me. Listen to us, Grigra. No! We want you, Esther wants you, Ramius wants you, even Rich wants you too, okay? Come on now. Come on, Esther, do your magic. Come on, do your magic. Say you love her. <laughs> like, like I can say, you know, I hope you say that uh, sooner. Let us say it now, in fact. This is the perfect time to say it. <laughs> even though it's kind of out of nowhere, but still. Yeah, stop it, stupid Rashford. What do you mean it will soon be yours as well? What? Yeah, he doesn't really care. He's, he's... Rashford is acting really arrogant right now. Yeah. He will regret it. He will regret it for acting so arrogant. It's going to be his downfall. Definitely. You seriously think you garner the support of the people? You seriously think that? You call him a boy? I don't think he's a boy though. I don't think he's a boy though. What? Seriously? What? Huh? What? Hi. What? Tio? Why are you with him? But I thought you say you hate Rochford. What? What's this twist? Huh? What the heck? Balls. Ah, this is the end of the world. 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 Like suddenly Tio's, I mean, suddenly Tio joins Rochford. Like what? What's going on? Tio, what about your promise to you no know, feed the 
the people in the outlaw camp. Like what? Oh. What happened? The lids of the countless barrels in the room were flung off by something. Oh shit. Letting out eerie purple smoke. Yeah, it's the poison gas. Yeah. So, you know, boss was made a grave mistake to put all the barrels here. And Tio, do you seriously believe him? Do you? What? Seriously? What, Tio, why you do this? Shit, Tio is, is a betrayer. She's a traitor. God damn it, when we went to the mountains to oh yeah, the time when we went to the mountains to meet um yeah to what what was it? To meet Catherine? Maybe this is the time when Catherine will save us, hopefully. I, I don't know how she's gonna do that. Maybe actually she won't. Maybe we'll find a way out of here, but how is the question? Yeah. Yeah, you're just being used to. Come on, wake up your idea. Is Tio really so desperate? Come on, support means you will win. Come on. Why are you so desperate? You know, being so desperate will be your downfall, you know? あの子、二度と出さないと誓ったの。それが私の償いなのよ。ああ、シェ。いや、ディエンシス、ベリーディストロイドバイハーシスターズデフ。いや、ティウスデフ。その誓いは立派だとは思うが、人としては歪んでい
But what about I think the the person we should be most worried about right now is Guri Gura. <coughs> yeah, where's Guri Gura though? But then Guri Gura said that she's resistant to poison, right? Reach. <coughs> but the, the, that's the thing. If we try to break it down, we're only moving. Moving, making wild movements, you know. What should we do? What about Grigra? Oh, I know, Cass Madsen. Oh yeah. Oh, this is where Cass Madsen comes into real handy. Yes, that's right. Esther took the Madsen from Catherine out of his pocket and had Rich and Ramius ingest it. I only fit to Ramius and Rich. What about Grigra? What about Esther? <laughs> yeah, you have some too, Grigra. Esther held the medicine out to Grigra, but she just stayed on the ground and barely shook her head. Why? We still need you, Grigra. Come on! What do you mean? You don't need it. We need you. Come on! Huh? It's fine. Somehow we have just enough for all of us. Come on, you still have us. God damn it. Come on, Esther, say those words. Say those magic words. Rigra? You still have a place to sleep. Our, our place. You can come to our house, our home. We welcome you with open arms. Yeah, but it's different now. We want you. As though her little body had accumulated too much sadness to hold, tears poured from Grigura's eyes. Oh shit. I get that, but But now she's crying because she's learned the truth. And enough, just take the medicine. You don't you dare say that, don't you dare say you're tired. You're not freaking tired. No, no, you have to force. If I have to force the medicine into you, I'm, I will do it right now. <gasps> Esther put the medicine in, in, in his mouth, grabbed Grigra's face and made her face him. Wait, what are you going to do, Esther? You're going to kiss her? You're going to like mouth to mouth? Feed her mouth to mouth? Just take it! <laughs> wow. Esther? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not surprised he would do such a thing. <laughs> this is Esther for you. Well, he actually used his mouth to feed. Yeah, basically did mouth to mouth feeding of the medicine. Yeah, <laughs> mouth to mouth fat. Uh, Grigra right here. Basically indirect kiss. Actually, it's not indirect kiss. It is a kiss. It's a mouth to mouth feeding slash kiss. <laughs> And he forced his tongue into her mouth and roughly pushed the medicine down her throat, at the same time kissing her. <laughs> How do you like it, Grigra? Do you like it sweet? Or do you like it sour or what? <laughs> or do you like it bitter? Phew. There you go. <laughs> Esther just did this without thinking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's not just 
too, no? It's not just smooched. You got a French kiss. <laughs> yeah! Pong! Uh? Oops. I didn't mean to take that. Nobody needs you! Don't be stupid! I need you, yeah! I need you! We all need you! Like, don't tell your friends to just let you die? Yeah, are you forgetting about us? Like, seriously? Yeah, and I mean, Rich and Ramis don't mind me kissing Gurigura, right? They don't seem to mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, well said, Ramius. Just pick your own place to belong. It can be anywhere you want it to be. And if you can find one, we'll give you one. Ah. Uh. You can be my girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that, but I have to become a ten knight first. <laughs> so once I become a ten knight, then you can stay with me forever and ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, Ramya and Rich. Oh, don't ask the obvious. Of course. Well, Gurigura, what do you think? Like I say, we will welcome you with open arms. Alright, there we go. <laughs> okay, food I understand, but catnip? <laughs> Rabius? I, I know she's, she's, she's pretty much like a cat, but still. <laughs> But, but she does act like a cat. I mean, the way she's dressed is like a cat. She even has a cat tail. <laughs> okay, alright. See us time. Now that that's settled, let's get out of here. Yeah, precisely. Alright. Can you do that for us, Grigura? Alright, thank you, Grigra. Grigra swiftly took the cover off the fan, or rather off the van, and crawled inside like a cat. Yeah, see, like a cat. <laughs> then, only minutes after she left. Oh, the door's unlocked. Nice. Alright, time to escape. Yes. We're gonna make her make him pay. We're gonna make him regret regret it for abandoning for teaching Grigura. Okay, so our next stop is in Lanstop. Okay, the party evacuated the purification plant and left to pursue Snake Crest in Lanstop, where Rochford's second home resides. Right, antidote used. So we're teleported back outside. Alright, this is the perfect place to end this episode. Yeah, this episode yeah, lasted quite a while. It's I think this episode is about like slightly more than one and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. I I'll see whether I want to like uh, break this in half, but uh, but well I'll I'll think about it but I might just keep this as one episode instead of splitting in half. Yeah. But either way, well yeah, this is a good time to uh, stop this episode. Yes, this was a really epic episode. We went to the purification plant. Yeah, we learned a lot of new things. Actually, we already knew that Rochford is the is part of the Snake Quest because it was revealed earlier. Uh, yes, uh, in the previous episode, but still, yeah. But the more, what's most shocking is Teo. Yeah, the fact that Teo decided to join Rochford. That is a real shocker. I'm like, why? Shit. That is the really big twist there, yeah. But, mm, but this was a lot of, yeah, epic scenes really happened here. We got major character development for Grigra, and we even got a kiss <laughs> from Esther to Grigra. So, yeah. That being said, I'm going to stop here for this episode, and in the next episode, we'll be um, pursuing, yes, we'll be pursuing uh, Rochford, and then make him pay for what he has done and also make him pay for teaching Grigra. We'll make him pay, right? 
and also <coughs> hopefully I can get the love gauge maxed so that uh, we can then um, access Ramius second love gauge scene before the end of chapter 2 yeah yeah if anything I would like to unlock Ramius second love gauge scene yeah before chapter 2 ends so that will be the plan for the next episode yeah all right so that being said uh, for those who have you know watched my let's play up to this far yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode see you then